Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute Stata Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will show how to describe an ordinal variable. In this video, as with the other tutorial videos, we'll be using the dataset mi underscore stata tutorial dot dta. So let's say we're interested in carrying out a descriptive analysis for an ordinal variable. So that's a categorical variable in which the order of the categories matters. So let's go over here to our data set. Now this variable here, energy, is an ordinal variable which asks respondents to agree or disagree with the following statement. Quote, we need to reduce energy use now to prevent an environmental disaster in the future. End quote. And respondents answer on a four-point scale, where one is that they strongly disagree with the statement, and four is that they strongly agree with the statement. So the first thing we want to do is create a frequency table, and to do that we just put tabulate, and then the name of the variable of interest, and there we go, we have our frequency table. And from this frequency table, the first thing we want to identify is the most popular category, the category that had the most responses and we see that 97 respondents agreed with the statement about needing to reduce energy use now. So we would say that's the mode for our categorical variable. Now for an ordinal variable another thing that we might want to find is the median, the middle category. And to do that we go over here to the right side of our frequency table to the cumulative percentages and we identify the category in which the cumulative percentages crosses 50 percent and again it's the second category of agreeing with the statement of needing to reduce energy use. Now in addition to this text output another thing we would want to do with a categorical variable like energy is to create a bar graph not a histogram which we use for continuous variables but a bar graph and to do this is a little bit tricky in Stata compared to SPSS because the first thing we need to do is we generate a holding variable, a temporary variable that uh, is just temp var equals 1. So we set all the values to 1. So this temp var we can name it anything. We could name it uh, holding var or fake var or giraffe or whatever and we set all the values equal to 1. And the second step to create a bar graph is just to graph bar and then we want the height of the bars to reflect the frequencies or the counts for the category so we just put count and then the name of the variable that we're using as our holding or temporary variable which is temp var and then as an option we put over and then in parentheses the name of our variable of interest and then we wait for Stata to create a bar graph. So what we see here is we have our bar graph and as with the frequency table we can see that the agree category is the most popular. So there we go, we've created a bar graph here for our categorical variable and if we go back to the other bit of the Stata output we see that we have our frequency table from which we identified our mode and our median. So that's all for this video in which we've been able to describe an ordinal variable which we can apply more generally to categorical variables. So that's all for now. Goodbye.